Okay, let's face it, motorized beds don't sound very cool. You probably associate them with hospital beds or those recovering from an injury where mobility is an issue, but that's because one, they typically cost a fortune, and two, well, I think no one's really made a very good pitch to the average consumer for why they might possibly want a motorized bed, especially for those of you who love the latest and greatest tech. Well, FlexiSpot sent over their Bedbase S5 to review, and I'm gonna make the case that their motorized bed frame will take your bedroom to the next level. You'll be able to transform your standard, flat, boring, 180 degree bed into an upright couch without breaking a sweat. That's the key part here, because if you've ever owned a futon, well, they're great in theory, but terrible in practice. What's neat about this motorized bed frame is that it should support any foam mattress you have, so chances are you don't have to go out and buy a new mattress, although you can actually buy one via FlexiSpot if you want. You just need to make sure that you buy the right size, twin XL, queen, or split king, which is like two separate twin beds that can be individually controlled. There's even a 14 inch split king option for those of you with a thick mattress, that's thick with two Cs. Now, when it comes to actually setting up the mattress, unboxing it, before you do all that, you're obviously going to want to get rid of your old bed frame, which in my case was this old Ikea bed frame that was on its last legs. Two people would definitely be recommended unless you're trying to throw out your back like I am. When you order your S5 bed base, it'll ship for free and arrive in a giant box. Inside, you'll find the top and bottom segments of the bed frame, a couple of boxes containing the legs, and then a box containing the fastening equipment, and that is essentially it. So the first thing you'll want to do is actually unclip the zip ties to free up some of the cables and motors that are underneath or attached to the bed frame. And then you're going to want to use the included bolts and nuts to fasten together the two bed frame segments all into one piece. I'm not going to walk you through all the nitty gritty details because there's an instructions guide that does a pretty good job walking you through all the steps. But I will say the legs are actually one of my favorite features of this bed frame as they are adjustable. So you can keep them at 12 inches long or you can remove three of the segments to bring the bed down to just three inches above your floor. Or you know, you could do something in between. You can uh, set them to six inches or nine inches. It's really up to you and maybe just depends on the storage bins that you plan on storing underneath. They have a black walnut texture to them. So they have a pretty sophisticated appearance that pairs well with the gray bed frame itself. But once you have the legs installed, you can find a buddy to help you lift the bed around. There are some metal pieces that do go around the bed to keep the mattress from slipping off. Those need to be installed first, and then you can throw on your mattress, which in my case is a queen size foam mattress. It's dog approved, as you can see, very important. Now I've been using this bed base for about a month, raising it up during the day and then lowering it during the night when I go to bed. And Surprise, surprise, I haven't experienced any issues with the motor and I actually feel pretty darn confident in the last few years. And FlexiSpot does too. They're actually offering a 10 year warranty with this bed base. They say that the motor has passed strict fatigue testing with more than 10,000 adjustments at a load of 750 pounds. That's about five of me on top of this bed being raised and lowered 10,000 times, kind of crazy. Now, one thing that is really important for a bed frame is for it to be sturdy and not make any noise when you get up and crawl out of it. Nothing bothers me more than a squeaky bed. It's actually the reason why I completely gutted my Ikea bed frame so that the box spring just sat directly on the floor because it was so creaky. And I can say that this frame doesn't make a sound. The legs are super sturdy. Even the motor when it's making an adjustment is surprisingly quiet. It obviously will make some sound. But if you have roommates like I do, including one that like sleeps against the other side of my wall, uh, you'll have no issue with sound here. Now, I gotta say, I was a little bit skeptical that I just wasn't gonna use this motorized bed frame. I thought the novelty of it would wear off over time. But in all honesty, it's it's been great being able to use it as a couch or a, a sort of like really comfortable chair to work on my laptop or just watch some TV. It comes with this remote that can be stored in the super convenient side pocket on the side of the bed. And you can use it to customize the exact position you want, or you can program an exact position that can be activated with the press of a button. The backlighting of the remote is a nice touch, so you can see it in the dark. There's also an underbed light too that can be turned on and off. It's not super bright, but it's something and definitely nice to have. I do wish there was an app so I could control the bed with my phone, but 
This remote makes it pretty effortless and the pocket is a really nice touch. Now, part of my satisfaction with this product can be attributed to this table that FlexiSpot also provided for this review. This is their height adjustable overbed table H6 in mahogany. I really do love this thing and I've used it in my living room actually during the Super Bowl when we had some friends over. It works great as a snack table that can be wheeled around and hovered over couches. But I gotta say it makes working in bed so much more comfortable. You can wheel it around as needed. And there is a gas spring, a gas pneumatic lift system actually that makes raising and lowering it effortless. And best of all, I think it just looks good. It took me maybe 10 minutes to assemble. For about $100, I think this is a great accessory to pair with the bed base. Now there is also a zero gravity mode with the bed frame that raises your legs slightly above your heart to keep your spine's natural curve. I gotta be honest, I didn't use this feature quite as much as I thought I might, but it was nice to use when I like took a break from work or just wanted to lay down and rest my eyes for a minute. It's actually pre-programmed on the remote so you can just press it whenever you're feeling like relaxing. So if you like what you see and you're interested in learning more about the FlexiSpot S5 adjustable bed base, you can check out the link in the description. It's on sale right now for just about $600 for the queen size and you get a 30 day return policy. If it's not the right fit for whatever reason, you can send it back. But I think for the cost of a smartphone, the S5 could absolutely be worth it. I'll place a link in the description to the adjustable overbed table that pairs beautifully with this bed frame. So everything you might need will be in the description. With that said, thank you FlexiSpot for sponsoring this review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you right back here in the next one. See ya.